What's up everyone welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix GTA 5 no applicable app license found on Xbox and how we can fix this app so let me directly get into a step one by one so the first one is all about if you're having the trouble just go over here in the settings and click on the settings and right now navigate to the time and language and if you find the date and time tap on this one and the first time for most step, as you can see, there is an option called set the time automatically. So this should be turn it on. This might be turn it off in some cases, which is causing the issue. So make sure that this is turn it off. And also it is quite important that you have to sync now should be done because it is syncing with your network, which is going to fix the issue. So it's an important one in order to turn on the time automatically. And also you should be turning on the sync now option as well. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Afterwards, you have to follow the next instruction. So next instruction is all about, we need to move to the next step. So this is the first and basic step. Apart from this is all about, we have to go to the apps, navigate to the installer apps. Now from here, we'll be able to find the GTA 5. So you can search for the GTA 5 in some cases, or you can just go over here, find the GTA 5. So if the GTA 5 is enabled, which means GTA 5 is here, you can find it. And once you find the GTA 5, all we have to do is you have to, sorry, you have to select the GTA 5. For example, I'm going to demonstrate you with this. Just go over here or let me just go over here. Search for Grand Theft Auto. That might be fixed bringing it. You have to search for Grand Theft Auto. So that is GTA 5. Now click on this three dot menu. And some cases you will be having an option called advanced option. So just click on this one. For example, I'm demonstrating you with an example. So imagine this, so this is the Grand Theft Auto. Click on the three dot menu, go to the advanced option, scroll down and you'll be having an option called repair and reset. You have to try both for repair and also you have to go for reset. You have to do both. And once this is done, you have to close this. Just go back to the settings once again, click on the settings. Now from here, navigate to the Windows update. Now from here, you have to update your Windows. Check for updates and make sure the Windows is very up to date. That's an important one. Once afterwards, what we need to do is just close this. Now from here, you have to search for the run command and press enter. Now from here, you have to search for WS reset. You have to type for WS reset and press enter. So what happens is the Microsoft store will be opened up. So it will be opening up. And once afterwards, you have to, after it successfully opened, you have to uh, do is just go over here, go to the library or if you can see you might be having all these kind of pending updates which is causing the issue so if you're having any kind of update just make sure one habit that you have to update everything right you go to the downloads or you can update it once after everything is updated i mean no pending update is there you can just close this go over here search for the powershell you can search for the powershell and go for run as administrator and you have to go for yes and this time, once afterwards, you have to copy and paste this particular command, which I'll be giving in the video description. So you don't have to worry. Just paste it. Once after it is successfully pasted, it is going to take a little bit of time because it is a process that's going to do it. So it's going to take a lot of time. So once this particular time is successfully done, I mean, it is all done. You have to close this. Next one is all about you have to go over here. And once after it's successfully done, you just need to go over here and search for the Microsoft Store. Click on the, sorry, search for the Microsoft Store and click on this one. And right now, once the Microsoft Store is successfully launched, click over here and we'll be having an option called settings. Click on the settings. And there, as you can see, there is an option called offline permissions. This might be turned off. So make sure that you have to turn this on. That's an important one. Once you turn this on, what we need to do is just close this now from here go to the library once again right click and go to manage go to the uh, game installation directory and from here you have to find the gta main file that is gta exe will be here so just go over here and find the gta main file that is gta exe right click over here and go to the show more options properties and go to compatibility Make sure that you put a check on run this program as an administrator. You have to put a check on this box, go for apply and go for OK. Now we need to close this and we have to launch the game. So this is what you have to do. So these are the steps and I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.